Welcome to Vibrant Leo Astro Herbalism Edition. Very excited to be with y'all on this one. Leo is ruled by the sun. Immediately, I think of the lion and its power and its pride being both its blessing and its curse. Leo being like the hearth that when you give it attention, it also reciprocates energy backwards. You know, it has this radiance. I love growing sunflowers or just looking at sunflowers in general. Is you could stand in front of a sunflower, <laughs> just be mesmerized and entrenched. And also typically there's gonna be a bee on it, just doing the little dance, moving around in this pattern. We had to talk about sunflower, here we are. Just looking at them brings joy. When I see sunflowers, I see strength, and I see boldness, and I see hardiness. And when you grow sunflowers, or even if you don't grow them, or you get to be in the presence of them, and you just touch their stalk, they are so just strong and resilient. I see a lion in this flower. I see the lion's mane in the petals. I see a face. This is one of my favorite flowers to grow, actually. I really love the smell of them. There's a warm, resinous scent to them. The young sunflowers typically follow the sun. Uh, and you can watch it throughout the day, that happening. There was an oceanid nymph called Clutie who had a little affair with Apollo and eventually Apollo got bored with her and wanted to go on to his next conquest. Clutie goes and finds the father of Apollo's new boo, tells him about their relationship. Apollo gets pissed off and so he turns Clutie into a sunflower unrequited love story because she continually follows his movements forever. 